Well, hello everyone, and thank you guys for watching Classic by Rider here. So it's been like three or four weeks since I haven't ridden her. Weather took a little turn, but not only that, I was working, and the past couple of weekends I had stuff to do, so I didn't have time to ride her. Finally got the signal I put on. I still got the the gasket and the ring for the gas tank. <clears throat> probably be doing that this weekend Memorial Day weekend finally got here gonna be taking a trip to Montauk to the post office and uh, then I'm gonna go down to see my uh, my son to uh, install a radio on his Jeep the radio that I had on my PT Cruiser so uh, this is the first start in a couple of weeks choke oh, she purrs like a kitten all right let me get her moved out of here she's hurry Now I can turn around. Oh my goodness. be a lot of traffic today so I gotta be careful a lot of out of towners put my tainted face shield down here we go Check the front tire feels a little low. I stop at the gas station up in Montauk. I'm gonna be getting me. Oh, my, uh, my regular facial is dirty. I'm gonna be getting me a tire changer, motorcycle tire changer. They sell them at uh, <clears throat> Harbor Freight, but I'm not getting the Harbor Freight one. I'm getting one similar from eBay, <clears throat> which come with a better, uh, better bar to remove the tire. And I'm gonna be buying me a tire balancer. Might as well, cause I have, I'm always gonna have a motorcycle. And uh, I had tire spoons, but they're a pain in the neck to remove the tires and then put them back on. Putting them back on is not that hard. It's just the removing part. I bought a set uh, back in the day when I had my scooter to change the tire. And I've used them a lot ever since. I did my scooter that I had, the 250 Chinese scooter that I had. I did the back tire. My son had a Honda, uh, what was it, the Honda, 
another spree, the bigger one, uh, something, it was an 80, 80 cc's. I changed, uh, I think it was the front tire on that. Then my son had a uh, 93, I think it was, EX500 Ninja. I changed the front tire on that with those spoons. And just last, uh, late last summer, when I gave them my, uh, I say I give them my uh, Virago, I did the back tire on that. We ended up having to cut the old one out. <clears throat> But that will be the point of having the motorcycle tire changer because you don't have to go through all that. So yeah, I'm planning to get that. Uh, and over here, this one, the tire valve in the front is a little leaky. It's leaking from the valve, not the stem, not the, the core. Just the tire valve will have like a little crack on it. So I'm gonna replace the tire valve entirely. Tires look fine for now. So I'm gonna wait on replacing the tires probably at the end of the season. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get the tire changer first. It's a little windy, but it's nice and warm. Tomorrow is supposed to be stormy, and Monday, which is Memorial Day, is supposed to be stormy. So we'll see. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, I forgot to mention, I might be getting me a GoPro Hero 4 from eBay. I don't want to fork up the, the, the money for a GoPro Hero 5 for two reasons, five or six, for two reasons. They require that expensive microphone adapter uh, for um, for the camera because they use uh, USB type C. And they require that expensive $50 adapter that only GoPro makes it. And uh, I will have to add something else to my helmet, add it to the weight. And this helmet is already heavy enough with the camera in the front, so I have to keep pushing it up. And uh, being the GoPro Hero 4 Black uses the same adapter that all the other GoPros before the 5 uses, and I already have one of those, I might be getting another one. So if that the case, if I do that, I'm gonna get another mount to put it on here on the dash. Or I might give this to my son. I'm, I'm about to give him, I uh, think I'm gonna give him the Hero 4 Sessions that I have. I don't have a use for that, I never used it on my motorcycle. I never got the mount for it. I just got it like really cheap, like $60 from uh, Craigslist. Probably someone found it and they, they sold it. <clears throat> no mounts or anything. No cables, no nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pollen is still a little strong and this year pollen has been so strong. I, pollen never bothered me before. But this year pollen has been so strong that uh, I've been hacking and uh, getting a, a frog in my throat because of the pollen. <clears throat> that was weird. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna go, should I go the scenery route? It's not really a scenery route, it just got a lot of curbs and bumps up and down. Why not? Why not? Just enjoy the ride. Mm, yeah. All right. This 
called the Old Montauk Highway before that other part of the highway was built. And over here is old beach, beachfront. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so I'm gonna catch you guys later. All right, so I don't wanna make this video too long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this video when I get back home, I uh, transfer it to my computer. And then on the way to Riverhead, I make another video and the installation of the stereo on my son's car. And then there's gonna be a separate video. The installation, probably gonna go on my other channel because it's the channel that I use for uh, video tutorials and stuff like that. Well, I might just put it on this channel altogether. <clears throat> I haven't used that channel. I've been using it just to upload uh, video gameplays, videos. It's all the same because now, uh, because I don't have enough subscribers, I don't get the YouTube uh, YouTube partner uh, payments anymore. So you might as well. I just use either or. I just, uh, Classic Bike Rider one is the one dedicated solely to motorcycles and riding. The other one was my first, my original channel, so I used to upload any kind of videos in there. I used to use tutorial videos and computers, so on and so forth. You can see the beach. I don't know how clear it looks, but it looks really nice. me in the mirror. So I'm going to be ordering the thermostat. I was going to order it last night, but I got home late. Took out my wife, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. They are out from Colombia visiting. So I took him out with the kids out to eat. We came out to Montauk. We went to uh, John's Driving. If you're in the Montauk area, looking for a good burger, Oh, they're the best. I had the uh, Big John Burger. Comes with bacon, cheese, lettuce, all the all the shebangs. I had one of those and a small fries. And uh, I tried the jalapeno poppers. I love jalapeno poppers. Fridays used to have the best jalapeno poppers. But this one's there. They didn't taste that spicy. <clears throat> and the, I don't like the cheese that they use. I burn my tongue with the melted cheese because the the outside of the jalapeno was already cooled down, but the inside cheese was still like molten lava. And I burn my tongue, so my tongue feel a little burny. <laughs> In front of me is a Southampton Town Police. They split their, because Montauk is under Southampton Town Township. They don't have their own police force, so Southampton Town uses their police out here. They have a small, what do you call a satellite headquarters. the winter months there's nothing going on out here so there's only like one with uh, like three cups out here but during the summer they had to double down because uh, a lot of out-of-towners and a lot of can happen a few years ago my uh, my wife's nephew was out here he used to work out here as a DJ he was heading back and then this guy Pretending to be a police officer, pull him over, flash him a fake badge and a gun, and it turns out that my wife's nephew was a fireman, volunteer fireman. 
So he called on the radio, he called uh, the police, and they came and they arrested the guy. He's was been doing that. He was waving in and out of traffic. And uh, when my wife's nephew saw him, he had called already, and then he pulled them over. He, the guy actually pulled my wife's nephew over and uh, flashed him a, a fake badge, and he got arrested. I don't know what ever happened to that, but I know he got arrested. I don't know if you've seen, but lately gas prices are going through the roof. I mean, they were like down almost to uh, less than $2.25. In less than two months, now it's almost three. Oh, all we hear is past $3, which is incredible. You can see someone hit that stop sign. Some drunk dude. Boy, that was a bad turn. Montauk Art Show. I missed the Montauk Music Festival. It was last weekend. It was stormy. It was rainy. I had stuff to do anyway. My uh, grandson, step-grandson, should I say, is my stepdaughter's son. It's like my grandson. He says that I'm his best friend. <laughs> uh, it was his first communion. I'm not gonna give him a break. I thought he would give him a break, asshole. So it was his first communion last week. So we had a busy day. It was stormy in the morning. On Saturday, then the sun came out a little bit, then it was rainy for the rest of the day. <clears throat> Sunday was the best day at the mall. It was nice and sunny. It was warm. But in the afternoon it got cold again. And the week was an awesome week. It was nice and warm. Monday morning was a little cloudy. <clears throat> With a little rain. But then it turns out nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna stop talking now because I got a, fro a frog in my throat. This is a freaking pollen. Oh, I passed Jones driving. I was gonna show you on the way back. I'll show you what Jones driving is. show that's what's going on I thought last night I said it was still the music festival but it's not it's the art show this bike but it's just too tall they should have made the wheelbase a little longer so it can be a little lower to the ground all right so I'm gonna pull in here because I don't trust people <clears throat> parking in front of the store over there I'm 
should I just turn around all together and park facing out? <clears throat> Here we go. That's better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back. All right, so I just came out of the post office, acquired a bunch of mail. I haven't been out here in like two weeks, two, three weeks. All right. I checked my tire, it's not low, it just, I haven't ridden the bike in a while, so it feels heavier. All right. I'm gonna get back home, transfer this video, and gonna pack up and gonna head down to Riverhead, where the action is. Gonna install the radio that I had on my PT Cruiser on my son's Jeep. He already came out once and we was gonna install it. Turns out the, the plugs were different. So I ordered uh, the right kind of plugs. And I'm gonna take them and install them. So you think the Chrysler, they own Jeep, right? The faceplate is the same as the one in the PT Cruiser. I mean, perfect. But the plugs in the back didn't work. So I'm not having to order another set of plugs to fit the, the stock harness. No biggie. No biggie at all. I went last week and applied for a, for a loan for a used car. I got denied, of course, because my credit is still not great. So there's this other place it says that you can uh, buy from them and pay them directly. So I'm gonna go there, I don't know if it's today or tomorrow, but I definitely need me a car, because when it's raining, I can take the bike. And when my wife is working, she takes the car. And I need a car. It's a little windy out here. You can see the flags blowing in the wind but it feels warm it's just the wind comes coming from the ocean it feels colder I'm sure the out in ribbon is gonna be in the 80s what is that a tick it's a tick it was a tick on my windshield about that I hate those things I hate them I hate them I hate them my wife almost died because of a tick bite tick bite back in 20 2011 we was we were still living in that house where we live in now and uh, we had chickens and uh, and little chicks and she was looking for eggs she went in uh, I guess in, uh, in the grass in the, the dirt part where there's uh, leaves and crap looking for eggs and she must have got a tick in the back of her leg that she didn't know about whoa an asshole you saw that <laughs> freaking guy just stopped in the middle of the road I almost ran in the back of him they shouldn't rent those bikes to everybody. Jesus.
What a fucking asshole. Anyway, back with the story. My wife, when almost she died. She had a, t a tick bite her in the back of the leg. And uh, I noticed the, the bruise in the back of the leg, right where the, the curve in the back of the leg, behind the knee. And uh, it was like purple and it had the, the bullseye mark. So I said, you know, you gotta go check that out because it might be Lyme disease. So she went to the local, the local um, e um, emergency room, so the walk-in clinic, and they they confirmed that it was Lyme disease. So they gave her antibiotics for the Lyme disease. Turns out, the tick that bit her had two parasites, had the Lyme disease virus and the Babesia. The Babesia parasite or virus is a parasite that eats your red blood cells. So it goes eating and eating red blood cells. If not treated, you start to feel tired. And like she, she was feeling tired. She was everything that she was like throwing up and sick. And she couldn't stand on her feet for too long. She felt tired, pain in all her body. So remember, it was like uh, it was like the storm on 2011. There was a hurricane coming, and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take it to the ER. We went to Southampton Hospital ER. They did a whole bunch of blood tests. They gave her some antibiotics and they're home. Two days later, they call my employment, they call my job. I mean, my job, they call my cell phone. They call the house that I had to bring her in immediately. And by then she was a little even more ill yet. Turns out she had Babesia, the Babesia parasite. And she was like, almost had no red blood cells left on her body. And uh, she was in the hospital for about a week with strong antibiotics. And uh, she came out of the, she came out alright, thank God. But uh, she's gonna have the the Lyme disease parasites on her body for the rest of the life. <clears throat> one uh, one note about that in the hospital because she's Hispanic. I spoke perfect. I speak perfectly English and Spanish. I was raised, born and raised in Puerto Rico, so I speak both languages. Perfect. This uh, this lady translate right. So they come to talk to my wife. She tell me that I need to leave the room. They need to talk to my wife by itself because my wife's uh, um, immune system was so out of whack. They did a bunch of tests. One of the tests they did was the HIV test. And uh, they come and take my wife, they take me out of the room and they said they need to talk to my wife alone. Supposedly privacy. And this doofus lady, right, tells my wife, she asked her how many husbands she had. My wife said, well, this one is my second one. I'm her second husband. She never had any has any boyfriends or anything after the the father or her daughter so I was really her second husband and I must say I'm a slut I've been with so many women I can count but I always protect myself so I knew I wasn't sick or anything 
So they tell my wife the, one of the tests that, say, that they did was uh, the HIV test, and she came out positive. But she couldn't tell me. She couldn't tell me that she had HIV. That they were gonna do another test just to confirm it, and they will have a result for her in three days or in a week. So for a week, my wife went, you no, know, thinking that she had HIV and that she was gonna die. Now, but <clears throat> she should not think that because if she had HIV. I had it, and I would have been sick too, and I wasn't. I don't get sick at all. I get a cold here and there, but that's it. Never been hospitalized, never had a broken bone in my body, nothing. So, week went by, she had to come in so they can give her the results. And this time they call a different guy, a different person to translate. She went with, with her daughter, her daughter also speak English and Spanish. They were very apologetic. Oh, we're so sorry. Uh, we made a mistake. You don't have HIV. It was because your, uh, your immune system was so out of whack because of the Babesia, the, uh, it triggered a false positive on the HIV test. They're freaking doctors, this hospital. How can they do that to a person? So during that week, my wife was like a living, a dead, dead living, she was a uh, corpse, basically. Thinking that she was gonna die of HIV of AIDS. And, uh, Nevertheless, she filed a complaint against that lady and she was out of there. <laughs> she didn't have to pay a dime for the hospital. She was there for a week. She only had to pay, what, like uh, $50 for the, $100 for the, um, the lab that they did. And that's it. They cover everything else. Because they didn't want a lawsuit. I told Mo, you should have uh, uh, sued them. You should have. But the thing is that they told her that she couldn't tell me. And that pissed me off. <laughs> because what if she did have the HIV? I mean, she had a surgery in Colombia the day, uh, like the week after we got married. Now, when we got married in 2008, in January 2008. November 2008, she, uh, she finally got her green card because I'm a U.S. citizen. She became a resident. And then it uh, took like uh, 15 days for her to receive the, the green card in the mail. And uh, the, day, the day after she got it, she went to Colombia. And she went to the doctor over there. She turns out she had uh, ovarian cancer. And they did an emergency surgery over there and they took the cancer out. They took the ovaries out. And thank God, she's been fine after that. But what if when she had the surgery done in Colombia, she contracted HIV from uh, blood transfusion? Because they had to give her blood transfusions for the operation. And she never told me. She could have told me, and they told her not to tell me. That's, that fucking sucks. I was so mad at her that day that she told me. I just stormed out of the house. I left. Came back the next day. But yep, that what happens. I was 10 years ago. All right, I'm almost home. I gotta unload all this mail and all this stuff. I went back to my uh, my chest after that scared the freaking scooters pulling up in the middle of the road stop in the middle of the road
come around the other way so I can pull facing out because I'm gonna be leaving again. Ooh, soft, soft, soft dirt. Soft, soft, soft. So soft. So soft, it's not like, not even there. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Any suggestions, you can post them down below. This is Classic by Rider, signing off.